Well, here we are, Twin Lakes in Manitoba, gonna chase some tiger trout today, sight fishing. I've got two holes already popped here. I'm gonna drill another two pilot holes, basically, and I'm gonna use a ice saw. I'm gonna make a little square chunk out of here that we're gonna sight fish all day for tiger trout. These things are amazing for in your shack. Puzzle piece foam, you just find them from Walmart. If you put them around your hole, your feet will stay dry all day. They don't freeze to the ice. Especially if you're ever gonna do any overnighters in your shack. These are uh, definitely a big help. I'm gonna switch boots eventually. Something just a little bit uh, lighter. Little guy, little guy, little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> just a tiny guy. Not big at all. But <laughs> I was kind of just shivering that spoon around a little bit. And then as the fish got close to it, I just paused it and give a little, little, little tiny shake just to kind of move that uh, Wyoming blade there a little bit. And uh, yeah, she ate it. I'm gonna put it in the net just so it doesn't splash around everywhere here. Oh, still gonna splash around everywhere. Okay, so this fish is definitely not a big tiger trail, but it is a start to hopefully catching some bigger ones throughout the day. Barbless hook already came right out as soon as I took the pressure off. I'll get more into detail what I'm using here right away. Get your hand nice and wet when you handle these fish. You don't want to have dry hands. And this is just a little tiger trout. Nothing big at all by any means. Really slimy, slippery. There we go. Okay, it's gone. Oh, 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 yes, big fish. I was overchanging. Oh, yes, I'm so excited right now. I was overchanging a GoPro battery, which it's not running right now. And I look over, and there's this big female tiger trout just chewing. Oh, settle down, Clayton. Just chewing on my spoon. And I'm like, oh no, I'm like, here goes my rod, here goes everything. And she kind of missed it as she, as she went for it. So I got it at enough time to go over, grab my rod, give it a little bit of a twitch, and just got nailed. So unfortunately, I only have the main camera going right now and one GoPro here with some, a little bit of an angle. Oh, what a monster of a fish. Holy cow, this is amazing. Where are you, girl? Oh, this is a big female. Big female. Holy, just girthy, wide. This is an impressive fish. Oh, Lee Murphy. Oh, yes. Come here, girl. Don't get caught on that ice. Oh, I got it. I got her. Holy Murphy. This is a big fish. Holy cow. This is definitely the biggest, biggest tiger trout I've caught. This is a monster. Okay. Little excited right now. Okay. Hooks free. I just measured it. It's 25 inches unbelievable i'm i could i'm not worrying about getting a picture on the measuring tape or whatever i don't really care about that i just want to know for myself what it is it's a monster female tiger trout like i said trying to change the the battery on the gopro 
and look at this thing. <laughs> what a monster. Holy cow. Great fish. I'm going to get her right back here. Get the net over. I should have a GoPro here. Look at this fish. Gone. I was shaking the whole time that was happening. Like, I've caught giant fish, like great big grouper, great big tarpon, walleye, pike, you name it. And this fish just got me just as excited as all those other fish. Unbelievable. Okay, here's what I got going on today. I got a 16th ounce PK Predator Spoon. I'm using a pearl pink, it's called right now. I don't think color is gonna really play a huge factor to all of this but right now that's what I have on I'm definitely having su some success with it like I said 16th ounce with a little Wyoming blade attached to it they come like this they also can get bigger Wyoming blades to attach to some of your other PK spoons which you can adapt to this and use this technique for for trout for perch and of course walleye and stuff too on here I have tipped some trout dough the reason for this is actually a couple reasons all combined why I'm using it today. I had it with me today, didn't plan on using it. This is why I'm using it. First, most importantly, this lake is no live bait. No dead minnows, no live minnows, no shrimp, nothing like that. It's gotta be artificial. This trout dough is a floatant as well. So it's gonna just kind of hover my spoon a little bit slower as it falls. Another reason, a little bit of scent. Earlier in the day, I noticed the bite was really, really finicky and they wouldn't do much when I didn't have any trout dough on there. So when I had the spoon just kind of sitting there with the trout dough, they seem to come by a little bit slower and then spend a little bit more time around the bait. And it's given me some time to kind of just move the rod tip just slightly and get that Wyoming blade just kind of fluttering in the water. And that has triggered the bite a couple times now. Yes. <laughs> stood up to give my back a bit of a break and there came in a fish always when you're doing something a little bit different oh it's running way out to the side <laughs> wow these things are fast so cool i think this one might be a, a male which is really cool because they're just a little bit different coloration and they got a big kite on them as well. I'll show you what the kite means here if I'm lucky enough to catch this fish in. Get this fish in. Wow, it's way, way over there. Wow. That was so cool. I was just literally standing up. And once it come in, I'm not going to sit down really quick. And, you know, oh, baby. Wow, this is a fighter. Unbelievable. Come on, girl. Actually, no, come on, guy. My first, my first uh, male tiger trout through the ice. This is cool. Okay, let's see if I can do a little bit better job netting this fish this time. Wow, these things are so scrappy. Really cool. Get the heater off, out of the way again. Yeah. Okay, not much better uh, net job, but a little bit. Once again, hook pops out. Every fish I've caught today, as soon as I've taken off tension of the rod, the hook has popped out instantly. Barbless hook, really good for the fishery. Okay, hook's clear, rod's clear. This fish uh, is a nice, nice fish. I'll show you why I was calling it a male here. can tell it's a male first off by their beautiful colors that they have a lot more orange you can see here and then it's got a kipe on the end of its mouth there you can see the kind of the, the mouth hooks up this one's not super pronounced but it definitely is there it's a male tiger trout super gorgeous fish barbless hook gonna get it right back in right away it's about a 19 20 inch fish beautiful fish Appreciate the subscribers for sure. Leave some comments below. I'll get back to everybody uh, as quick as I can. Appreciate everything, all the kind words. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I was able to give you a couple tips so the next time you get out 
fishing for tiger trout or any trout uh, in general that you can maybe land a couple more.